here at the uh, bootleg campground. This is uh, south of Colville off of Highway 395. Uh, it's uh, kind of a dropping off point for me. A lot of times I'll stay here when I'm heading out of state. So this is my uh, first stop on my route to Arizona. And from here I'll be heading down towards Lone Pine. You can see in the background there, we got the uh, Got the logo put on the truck. Yeah, we'll go check that out. Here's a quick pan of the area. That's a nice campsite right there. So we're going to head on down the hill here and uh, check out the Walker River. Second stop at uh, just outside of Lone Pine, the uh, Tuttle Creek Campground. You can see the uh, Eastern Sierra behind me there. It's a beautiful morning. It was smoky yesterday, but it, uh, the wind's pretty much blown it all out by now. I think it's going to be a nice day. I'll give you a quick pan here. So I'm not sure if it's because of the heat or the smoke, or maybe both, but there's nobody here. There's only one other RV on this whole loop. And, uh, so I'm tempted to stay here for a little bit and just enjoy the, the quiet. You see, it's a pretty nice view. stub is proof of payment when you uh, roll in and pay for your campsite. Just took a brief walk and it looks like there's only a couple of us that are paying for their sites. But, uh, I haven't had much luck skirting the law so I'm not paying my four dollars a night. Um, once when I was in this gang when I was 12 years old <laughs> our gang and uh, we had to prove our worth by stealing something from this grocery store so we all went in there I think there's about five or six of us and I decided well I'm gonna steal an ice cream bar so I, I grabbed an ice cream bar and I, I shoved that into my coat pocket and for some reason I, I got in line at the cash register, which wasn't a good idea because by the time I got up to the register, the ice cream bar had melted inside of my coat pocket and you could just see this big wet stain on the front. And the woman looked at me and she looked down and she saw that big wet stain and she thought I'd peed in my pants. <laughs> so, uh... So anyways, I, I walked out of the store humiliated with no ice cream bar. And, uh, yeah, I just, just never turned out to be a good thief. 
So I guess it's one of those things you either got the knack for it or you don't. I'm still here at Lone Pine. I guess it's the uh, the heat and the quiet kind of sucked me in and made for some lazy afternoons. Um, but I'm gonna head out of here tomorrow morning. It's pretty warm and the smoke's rolling back in. And head over to Flagstaff. I had uh, planned on stopping at Mojave, but it looks like it's gonna be over a hundred there tomorrow. So I think I'll stay on the road and just see how far I can get. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. But we'll be checking back in before I head out of here. Good morning. 7 a.m. and it's already getting hot. I think that's a good sign to uh, hit the road and look for some cooler temps. over here. You can see it just started hailing and pouring down rain. And this is all mud now. Uh, thankfully I'm, I'm already in four low. So I'm not having any trouble with traction. But I'd really like to get out and see where I'm at. I think I'm okay. Just got 
gotta clear that tree back over there back to the left. I can see why no one's camped in this spot. And the whole thing just turns into a river. So yeah, that was a lot of a lot of work for nothing. Um, so I guess I'll just uh pull out of here and keep looking. Can't imagine towing without four-wheel drive. Yeah, it'd be impossible right here. Wow, I can't believe I navigated this ditch and didn't bottom out anywhere. That was so close. Well, I don't see anything but tire tracks. That's incredible. I need to get a lift. That's insane. Anyways, I think we got a spot here. It's not full of mud. And, uh... Yeah, it looks pretty good. Enough room to set up the awning. And, uh... No dead limbs to fall on the trailer. And actually, if I back it in here a little further, it looks pretty level. I don't know if you can hear that thunder. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be pretty quiet at night out here. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap this up and get my chalk blocks out and uh, get everything all set up and settle in. God, it's uh, I think it's in the 60s out here. I can't believe it. What a difference in temperature. Might have to put on some long pants. <laughs> been cutting off um, it just hasn't been firing up you know it's the symptom is uh, that there's no propane but there is propane so that would indicate you know either it's not getting enough propane to the refrigerator or it's not getting enough spark and at first I thought it was because uh, I'm at this higher out elevation um, I've had this problem before, and it was the propane regulator, this guy here, and uh, Vinny at Vinny's North Bay Airstream Repair replaced that for me, so I'm hoping that one's still good. It's barely a year old. So I went in there, I got my air compressor out, and... I just cleaned everything up as best I could and then I took out that little anode thing there that white piece and um, figured well maybe it needs a bigger spark so I just pulled it away from the flue a little bit and it fired up so either I got lucky or uh, that took care of it so 
I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> but uh, for what it's worth, the reason I mention this is that if you're going to head out into an RV, you're going to have stuff like this going on uh, frequently, especially an older, well, even a newer trailer. Stuff's just not going to work uh, unless you get a really high-end rig. Like my old Earth Cruiser, it's pretty close to bulletproof, the camper part of it. Um, but yeah, any anything that, uh, any travel trailer, fifth wheel, class A, anything like that, you're probably going to be fixing little things now and then. Shelves, refrigerators, heaters, uh, yeah, pretty much everything. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully the audio is a little better this time. I added some compression, so I should make it a little easier to understand. I think I'll uh, hang out in this area for a little bit, do some exploring, do some mountain bike riding, and then uh, maybe go up to Utah. I'm not really sure. Uh, you take care, and uh, maybe we see you out there on the road. Bye-bye. Thunderstorm over I can't see much, but I'm sure you can hear this. Incredible the amount of lightning and thunder. Got some hail a while ago. Hopefully it was small. We need to have a dented roof. Uh, it's kind of by the time I got over my amazement and pulled the camera out, it's kind of dying down a little bit now. Uh, it's still pretty crazy.